Jay Day people, this is Sharp Pino here. Welcome you guys to episode number 22 of the Pokemon X Mono Water Shiny Lark. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure to like button down below for us because as always your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, we did make our way from Anister City. We are now here in Snow Point City. Where we do have ourselves the opportunity to go ahead and get ourselves the final gym badge of the region after getting through our sidekick characters who unfortunately we did not leave unscathed and now we've got half our team on one life. Let's hope nothing happens to them. So let's go ahead and have a look at the team that we are rocking out with today for you guys. We got Ryoga, our starter, the Greninja, Shotgun, our Cloitza, Kali, our Artillery. Azumarill, the Mar- uh, Num Nexus, the Azumarill, Beach Boy, the Pelipper, and finally, Leonardo, our Blastoise here. Sorry, I was just fixing up that there for a sec. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the episode. So, first things first, what I think we should do is looking at our team here, uh, who's the weakest? Actually, Shotgun's the weakest, followed by Beach Boy, so we, I think we should definitely work on those guys today. Because we do have the gym battle coming up today. I do know we might face a few trainers today in the, um... It, is this it, is it Snow Point City here? I just want to double check. Is it Snow Point Snow Bell? I know one of them is from Sinnoh. I know one of them is... Is this one. Which one is it? Snow Bell. Oh, okay. So Snow Point is Sinnoh. My bad. Alright, so now we're going to go to the forest over here. In order to get to the gym leader who's taking a break for some apparent reason. But... You know, it is what it is. Alright, so we're here in Route 20, the Rising Woods. Uh, surprisingly enough, we could actually get ourselves a, a shiny encounter in the waters. Because there is actually water in this area. But I'm not worried about that. I'm here today to focus on... Apparently running into a horde. That's what I'm worried about. I'm running into a horde. A horde of Trevenants. Yeah, I'm not part of that. See you later. <laughs> Alright, so... Okay, so apparently we went the wrong way. So that's fun. <sighs> and we have a wild Amoongus in front of us. I think we're going to need those repels, ladies and gentlemen, because this is starting to get just a tad annoying, because I'm just trying to run through here and find the gym leader here. There we go. The super repel is up, which means we should run into absolutely no Pokemon whatsoever. I was then probably go down this way. Oh. A meadow plate. Okay. Um... I'm really confused. I thought we had to... Unless I went the wrong way in the first place. Well, that helps. <laughs> found a Cassie Berry. We found a Palace Heal. Okay, I think we might have to do a double battle here. I think um, we've just tried every other way to get around this, but um, we're not having much luck here. So, uh, So we go this way. We're going to be the toughest twins in the world. Okay, cool. What you got? Two Pokemon. It's Slurpuff and Romatisse. The newest fairy type Pokemon to be showcased in this game. Team Dubele Shiny is here. Let's go. Alright, let's go for a Water Pulse on the Romatisse. And let's go for a Hydro Pump on the Romatisse. We want to make sure we can knock out one of them. At the very least. Level 53. Jesus, man. They're, they're probably on the same level as us. And we get a critical hit water pulse. Probably doesn't matter, but we did take out the Roman taste as we planned. Energy ball. I was about to say, what the fuck? How do you have that? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Oh yeah, Slip Up does get access to, to energy ball. 
I love Shiny Slurp Puff though. I will say, I do love the Shiny Slurp Puff. It's actually one of the best um, Shinies from this generation, I've got to say. It goes from like a pink strawberry cupcake to like a chocolate looking muffin. So, it does look pretty nice though, I will say. Rightio, so we took on the twins and they learned the hard way that you don't mess with the Sharpino Water Squad. Uh, that's a TM. Uh, I think we're meant to go down. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so we're going down. Go around this. Right. And... Ah, I think we found it! I think we found it! Hello! And all the people run away! You know what this place is? Welcome to the Pokemon Village. This place is a pl secret, you know. Most of the Pokemon here runaways escape from bad people who did awful things to them. It's a shame how many heartless trainers who can't bother to care for the Pokemon that are out there. Some of these Pokemon, though, some of them are just too strong and found they didn't really have a place in the world, outside world, so they came here. Hmm, I see. Your Pokemon se sure seem to think highly of you. You've had some good times together, haven't you? Oh yes, remember those good times with the shiny hunts? Especially for Frankie being over 7,000. <laughs> hey, you all can come out now. This one's alright. Sometimes I get worried in coming to check on everyone. Oh, excuse my manners. We haven't even had a proper introduction yet. The name's Rothrick. I'm usually over at the gym in Snowbell City since I'm the gym leader at all. Let me guess, you want to challenge me? Um, yes, that's right. I thought so. Sorry to inconvenience you like this. I'll be waiting for you back at the gym then. Before you come by, I think it'd be do you some good to spend some time with the Pokemon here. In other words, he wants us to catch Pokemon here, but get a free chopper berry though. Not gonna not gonna complain about that. And you got a pretty wing. Hey, that's Wingo's item. You get out of there. You're not gonna steal his thunder with that shit. I guess no one else has anything. Well, aren't you guys lovely? Alright, so that is that. What's this item over here? Ah, oh, full restore. Okay, that's good. We can definitely use a full restore. That's a trash can. We use another repel. I'm looking for a shaking bin right now. We have an item. Max Edler. Well, <laughs> we've got plenty of those. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> oh, we've got plenty of those Max Edlers. Don't you worry about that, my friends. We are good to go on that one. <laughs> all right. So we managed to find the Snowbell City Gym Leader. So now we can go all the way back to the front here. I don't think we can fly. So uh, this chick is just guarding the front. Like, you know, this is my house. I'm like, it's a forest. What the hell? Anyways, hope you guys have been doing well. I uh, hope you guys are still enjoying the series. If you are, thank you guys so much for sticking by the series and showing your support. It does mean a lot to the old sharp man. <laughs> it brings a tear to my heart, the support of showing me. Nah, it's all good. <laughs> um, 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 um. So, now, 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 first off we'll go heal, because now, ladies and gentlemen, is where things get serious. We are now about to enter the final gym of the Kalos region. In Snow Point City, right here. So, you know, all um, all hands on deck because this is going to get mighty rough. So let's go ahead and turn off the repels now. We don't need to worry about the repels because now it's time. Snow Bell. Oh, goddamn! <laughs> Snow Bell City. I said Snow Point. Snow Bell. Okay, so I just like double triggered myself. Okay, so now we're gonna do this first switch here. But oh, there's a trainer in the way. They call me the Queen of the Ice. Are you the Ice Queen? Ice Queen Imelda. Okay. Okay. Well, shotgun's actually gonna be pretty handy in this, in this uh, gym because it does have a very powerful move against these ice types called Aurora Sphere. And you're going to try and snatch. Okay, I'm not planning to go for Nasty Plot or anything. Kablam! Down goes the Sneasel. That's one down, one to go. And Gregor's level 54. And Kaz level 57. Jesus Christ, Kelly, calm down. Next we have ourselves a... Okay, so... 
Everyone knows. Oh god, Icicle Crash. This is resistant, so shouldn't do too much damage to us. Yeah, that does absolutely nothing to us. And we thankfully don't get flinched. That is good. But, yeah, Cloyster's has got no special defense. There's no way you're living a max special attack aura sphere. I don't care who you are. You ain't living that. You ain't living that. Okay, so now we go up and around. Freeze right there. Oh, I think we're meant to hit the pink switch again. I think we're meant to hit it maybe more than once. I'm pretty sure. But we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll double check the layout once we finish off this battle here. Okay, so next up we got ourselves a Deli Bird. A Deli 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 Bird. You think calling yourself a Deli Bird, I'd be seeing like a giant display. Like, hey, a Deli Bird. Can I please get some turkey? Can I get some uh, ricotta cheese? And can I make myself a nice roll? That'd be great. That's what you do at delis, guys. That's what you do. And that, honestly, I love deli. Seriously, deli has to be muddy water. No, we're not going to learn that. You don't get boosted by um, uh, Mega Launcher. So we're good with that. Next up is a Mammoth Swine. Aha. Uh -huh. Level 55. Okay. So you guys can appreciate the fact that I'm not doing this. At oh, Jesus. Here comes an earthquake. Okay, we swallow that. We're doing just fine. How's Water Pulse looking? Oh! Oh! Down goes the Mammoth Swine! You swine! <laughs> well, literally, it's a swine. It's a piggy Pokemon, so... <laughs> not totally wrong. Okay, so... I think we're meant to hit this... Oh, wait, we can't go back. What the hell? Alright, I think we're meant to hit this... I'm... I am completely lost. I'm just trying to remember how we do this. Um... I, I think we might have to hit it again. Let me go ahead and check this. So, we've hit it once. Okay. This seems like the way to go. Hit it again. Okay. So we got that going for us, but now this is not right. Okay, that's not right. And there we go, we got it. Okay, okay, so now we've got that. First level complete, yay! Okay, uh, I think we would probably need to go and heal um, our, our, our shotgun here. So now he's level 53. I'm just trying to make sure we get everyone trained up here, guys. That's all I'm trying to do here. So next up, we've got this lady over here. Okay, at least this is not as frustrating. I think last time I did this on my last Let's Play, it was like driving me bonkers. But next up, we have ourselves a Cryogonal. Ooh. One of my favorite... This is actually my favorite ice type, guys. Fun fact for you guys. Cryogonal is my favorite ice type. Why? Because its special defense is insane. Oh, God. Oh, no. And I forgot it has freeze dry. Shit. Fuck. I completely forgot about that. Now we get a critical hit though. <laughs> oh Jesus! I forgot. Oh wow! I actually completely forgot freeze dry was a move. Wow. That that's insane. Okay. Now we have Polar Swine. Okay. An earthquake from Mammoth Swine was enough to kill us. So, well, first of all, we have speed, so it doesn't really matter to us. And we take it the Polar Swine. So that is good news for us. Yay! 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 One more to go. Leonardo's level 55. Looking pretty good right there. And Jinx is the last Pokemon. Okay, Jinx. Well, we've got a move just for you. It's D... Oh, well, first you're going to outspeed. You go for Body Slam here. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? D-Pulse hits the Jinx in the spot, which is why it was like... Oh! <laughs> Alright. So that is an Ice Cold Low. Well... Okay. Now, in order for the green to... So, okay, so this yellow, I think we're meant to get these two panels here, these two together. So, what we have to try to do is, first of all, I think first we'll just beat the trainers. I think that's the first thing we'll do is we'll just beat the trainers. And then we'll talk about um, 
the logistics of the puzzle after. I think that's probably more important right now. So we've got Theo here, who has a bear tick. Another good ice type from the 5th generation. Fight me in the comment section. 5th gen is the best. Fight me! I challenge you to fight me. Seriously, Gen 5 is the best. It's the tits! It is the tits. Bear tick just couldn't hack it, you know? I actually remember I used a bear tick on a Wi-Fi battle um, when I was doing league battles and all that. And I've got to tell you guys, the funniest moment, if you guys want to go ahead and watch it, it's, um, I think it was a third round of, I can't remember if it was season two or season three of the PMC. And I was facing off against um, a team with the um, Incineroars. And he had a, um, a Volcanion and I had a Bear Tick. And we were down to our last Pokemon. And I said to myself, if I was to beat this guy, he would have to miss a Fire Blast. Because my Bear Tick was at full... Like, I think it just lost a little bit of health to, um, to Life Orb. Um, and I went for... I, to just give you some context... He had a Diggers B and a Volcanion. I had a just a Tick left. That was my last Pokemon. And I was worried that if he swapped in his Diggers B for Volcanion, I would be forced to give him Water Absorb because I had Aqua Jet. Instead, he stays in. I go for Aqua Jet. It kills the Diggers B. And then he brings Volcanion. And I'm like pretty much praying for a miss. He misses the Fire Blast. I hit him with the Superpower and I kill his Volcanion because his Volcanion was not at full health. And I swear to God, that is one of the most iconic moments ever on um, on my Pokemon Wi-Fi battling career. Another one was actually a funny one. I think it was like my second battle I ever did. Um, I took on someone and they had a, a Slowking and an Entei. And the funniest thing was, one of my friends was telling me, Hey, Sharpie, you know what you should do? You should, um, you sh okay, now I've fucked up for sure. Okay, so that's the way you were supposed to have it. Alright, so let's just go fix up the yellow one first. Okay, so what I did was, I someone told me I should use Trick Choice Scarf on my team just to kind of be like, you know, troll a lol. Okay, we just had to do that. That's all we had to do. Um, and I did that with Metagross, and my opponent had left, it was against the um, the Hamden Hydragons. I was so mad because... He had Hydreigon as his um, as his mascot, and I couldn't use it as a team mascot for me. Um, but in the end, what happened was he had Entei, I had Slowking. Um, he tried to swap in uh, Slowking on me, and I went for Trick onto it and giving it a Choice Scarf. Then I brought in my Jellicent, and it, it tricked itself into Scold, and it gave me a free Water Absorb. And then I went for a Scold back. He swaps it to Entei, and I kill his Entei for free. And then I kill him using Jealousy against his Slow King. I thought it was the funniest moment. If you guys want to watch my Wi-Fi battles, go ahead and watch them on my channel. Uh, playlist will be in my channel. I think it's PMC Seasons 1, 2, and 3. Try to check those out. But just a warning, I do get pretty salty in the later seasons. And that's why I ended up stopping doing Wi-Fi battles. But anyways, here we are at the gym. Battle. Let's do this. Wolfric. You know what? Ice is both extremely hard and terribly fragile at the same time. You know what that means, depending on which Pokemon you use and what moves they use, I could be your most challenging opponent yet, or I could be a total pushover. But that's alright, that's how it should be. Anyway, enough of my rambling, let's get this show on the road. Hit that, that, that stomach slap that. Let's get it going, Wolfric. You slap one, I slap two. Slap one, slap two, slap one, slap two. <laughs> Righto, a bomb of snow is the first Pokemon. Okay. Okay, maybe we should have thought about this before we started, but, okay. So, a Bobberson does have Snow Morning, that, that, is, that is a given. Now, the thing is, he could have a Grass type move and that could do some damage to us. So, I probably should have led with Pelipper, but I completely forgot that Bobberson is in the gym. Um, but I don't want to lose Claudia right now. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and swap into... Um, Beach Boy expecting a grass type move. And if it's physical, which I'm pretty sure it is, uh, we should be able to survive whatever move he does to us. So here comes Beach Boy. Energy Ball. Okay, so it's special. That's neutral, and that does about 70 damage. Uh, okay. 
Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. So, this could be a bit of a problem. Alright, um... But Leonardo has more special defense, so I'm going to swap into... Maybe he might swap into a Blizzard, into an Ice type move, who knows. Now that he sees a Flying type in front of us. But we're going to bring in Blastoise. Nope, he's going to go for Angie Ball again. God damn it. We fucking tanked that, though. Okay, that does 100 damage. Okay, so if we Mega Evolve and go for a Flash Cannon... I'm pretty sure we should be able to survive. I know I'm not going to do my Mega Ring. Everyone hates when I do that, so I'm just going to stop doing it now. <laughs> Alright, so... Now that we're Mega... We've seen how much damage it does to a regular uh, Blastoise. So we should be able to survive this. So we're going to go for a Flash Cannon. We have speed, actually. Ooh, and almost... And that was a crit! Wow! Okay! Did I did I miss did I miss something? Did he just get a high roll energy ball on my Blastoise? Is that real, is that real, really happened? Is, is that is this what really happened? Because the first energy ball did under a hundred damage. This one did over ninety seven damage. So wait, so one hundred five and two hundred three. Wait, 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 wait. So. Let's do some quick math here. It was at 105. And that did 203. So that did 98 damage. And then how damage kicked in. Yeah, but even so, we had more bulk... We had more special defense. Oh my god! No! And because of that, ladies and gentlemen, we have lost our first Pokemon of the LP. Right there. Oh, uh, that sucks. That really does suck. And it was a Mega Blastoise too. <sighs> okay, well that's not nice. That's definitely not nice. Um, oh, you're gonna use a Hyper Potion. Oh, now I really wish I went for a Substitute. Alright, so we're gonna go for Night Slash. Whoa. That does nothing. Oh my god. Um, okay, this is a problem. This is a big problem. Um, I'm gonna have to, oh my god, are we really gonna do this? Are we really gonna do this? Am I, do I really have to do one of these? I feel like I have to. I'm gonna go for a water shuriken, and I'm gonna bank on the flinch. It sounds pathetic, I know, but I'm gonna have to bank on the flinch. Two hits? Nah. Fuck! Jesus Christ! Are you serious? Are you serious? He missed a fly! What the f- Are you- Are you si- Are you serious? What is this? What is- this? Oh my god. What is this bullshit? What is going on? What- What the fuck, dude? What the hell? Maybe I should have done that first, but oh my god, what the hell? Flamethrower! <laughs> this is unreal! 
I never expected that this would be one of the hardest battles in this ice beam. We should swallow that, that's fine. Wow, Wolfric. Fuck. Oh no. <laughs> so it, the enemy wasn't the ice type, it was just a bomber snow. Fuck. <laughs> Outstanding, I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through. Who would have thought I would have lost more Pokemon in this gym than I did in the Grass Gym? Which was zero. And this one I lost three lives. Impressive! Your Pokemon fought with great courage and I can tell that you've trained your Pokemon well. What you have right there is called the Ice Bag- the Iceberg Badge. As long as you have that, any and all of your Pokemon will surely look up to you and do their absolute best in battle. Let me give you this too. And now we finally have Ice Beam, which we can teach to every one of our Pokemon. You know what this is? It's Ice Beam! The move has an accuracy of 100%! Not only that, but every once in a while it will freeze the target it hits too. I hope you've learned a valuable lesson today. Being rigid can make you tough, but it also render you fragile. You're better off being flexible. You know what I mean. Some people are fluid like water and can adapt to the environment without changing what's important on the inside. Not me though, I guess I'm too stubborn. Maybe that's why I love Ice Types. We just lost our first loss in this game. That's sad. There's the future champ I know and love. Looks like you chopped the old gym leader. It's never a bad thing to test the limits of your strength. Am I right? Well, am I right? And since you're such a star, I guess that means you're off to the Pokemon League. You know, you know what? You have all the gym badges now. There's only really one thing left for you to do. It's time you head off to the Pokemon League. Listen up now. Trust in your Pokemon that there's no limit to what you can achieve. Alrighty, well... Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen... This is where we say goodbye to our first member of our Mono Water Shiny team that has lost all three lives in this game. Rest in peace to our fallen comrade, Blastoise. Oh, that's, that sucks, man. That that really sucks, man. That really that really hurts, guys. That that really hurts. And we'll go ahead and name this box. I think it's appropriate this name. The shiny dead box. So, there goes our first member that's lost all three lives, and now we have to decide whether to add our Neve the Wish Cash, Battle Toad, the Polyrath I'm going to evolve into. You guys voted and decided to go ahead and make us give us a new member, or do I hunt for my final Pokemon and then decide on which Pokemon to add to the team based off that? 
Well, I'll leave you guys in suspense, and I will say to you guys, thank you for watching. Hope that you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you like the button down below, because as always, your support's very appreciated. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Pokemon X Modern Water Shining Lock, as we do get ready to head to Victory Road. And guys, it ain't over yet. It ain't over yet, guys. You've seen me on previous Let's Plays of X and Y. Victory Road is where a lot of shit goes down for me and my team. My team entering Victory Road can be completely different to what arrives at the Elite Four. So... You're going to have to watch to find out what happens next. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later.